Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. So today we are doing a collective reading for you guys and we are going to see what's coming up for you as a collective. All right. This is a timeless message. So whenever you watch this, this may apply with you. And if you have come across this reading, it means that this is meant for you. All right. In some way, shape or form, you were meant to hear this message. Okay. So let's see what's coming up for the collective spirit. What are the energies that the collective is dealing with currently? Please tap me into the collective energy spirit. Tap me into the collective energy. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So I'll just keep this card here. Okay. So collective. It says here, giving offerings to Gaia. Okay. So something about the planet Earth, Mother Nature. This is calling the collective right now. I feel like if you live near nature or if you can go for a walk in nature or if you can, you know, do some workouts in nature, go on the beach, you know, spend some time near water, um, dip, dip your legs in water or, uh, you know, just get more in touch with nature basically because um, it's going to help ground you. I feel like the reason why this card has come out is because some of you are experiencing a lot of scattered thoughts currently whoever's watching this i'm tapping into your energy and i can feel that you have been feeling quite scattered like um you don't feel grounded you feel like you are all over the place in terms of your thoughts in terms of your decisions what you should make what you shouldn't make there's some confusion regarding um which direction you should move into or uh, which job opportunity you should choose or which person you need to be in a relationship with and you know whether that is suitable or not so there's a lot of confusion in terms of whichever direction you're taking in your life and mother gaia is inviting you to take refuge in her you know because she has the ability to charge your batteries is what i'm hearing okay so you need to charge up your bat batteries through mother nature okay so there are different ways that you can give offerings to our mother nature okay uh, to gaia so the first here is speak loving intentions into an incense okay so if you have an incense collective it's time to like use that incense or um, speak loving intentions into the incense and then light the incense right so that the smoke of the incense can then cover your house or cover your space or if you're doing this ritual in nature like you can just do it for nature itself or for mother gaia itself you know giving back to her um speaking loving intentions for whatever issue that you're facing currently whatever confusion that is going on in your life currently i feel like speaking positive intentions and loving intentions into an incense and then lighting it will spread that positive energy around you okay um so this is a beautiful message here speak loving intentions into an incense or you can also do this in a glass of water or a candle and keep it near the trees or any natural place okay so uh, you need to give offerings to mother gaia in this way by um speaking your intentions into the glass of water or a candle or um you know um an incense and place it near a tree or place it near maybe place it in your park or wherever like wherever you're doing this ritual and you want to give back to nature um do this you know because this will help you okay this will help ground you uh, when you give back to mother nature mother nature gives back to you also you know uh, we as a species we as humanity all we have known collective is to take from mother nature is to take resources take abundance take you know from the trees and make papers and um you know have money how does money how, how do we get money we get it through paper right through currency which is also cut from trees at the end of the day right so it's all about mother nature but when have we given back to nature right so it's time to give back rather than constantly taking because then there is a lot of imbalance due to our nature to just keep taking and so mother gaia wants you all whoever's watching this because i feel like you are my special collective whoever's watching this y'all are special that's why mother gaia wants you to give back wants you to balance the situation wants you to be the heroes of this time literally okay whenever you're watching this so or heroines right um yeah then the next is uh walk barefoot whenever whenever you can right so uh walking barefoot actually grounds your energy right it provides earthing it provides grounding it provides nourishment and it recharges your batteries um so that you don't feel drained you don't feel emotionally drained mentally drained physically drained right some of you could be like battling depression battling mental health issues battling laziness currently right so mother nature is asking you to go out in nature to walk barefoot in nature walk barefoot on grass near trees in the forest whatever right take a trip um to like uh, drive uh, or take a drive whatever right and um, go near nature basically nature is really calling you right now okay uh, never take a single breath for granted right so collective like every single breath that you're taking is precious it's important it's allowing you to live and experience this realm 
which is mother earth's realm right so thanking her for you know being able to breathe being able to wake up having gratitude in your heart for mother earth um will really really benefit you help you in being able to make the right decisions in your life for you and your loved ones right so that is coming through um uh, we have be grateful for all your basic needs met right so again gratitude coming through for you guys where um it's important to have a gratitude journal okay so maybe like get a journal okay and uh, practice gratitude so if you haven't started already um you need to start okay get a journal a new journal and start writing um start with five right start with five points that you can think of every day that you're grateful for okay um and think of them in a way where you don't repeat the first one right so that is how you will expand your mind to how grateful you truly are to be on this planet how grateful um you are for the opportunities that you have right um now something about being in the nature is also like an offering okay that is what i've read from somewhere and that's where that's how i came up with these cards i made them myself so um being in the nature is also pretty helpful in giving mother nature an offering okay um that's coming through all right now offer Okay something about offering your period blood to nature so for my feminines here okay if you can offer your period blood to nature like give it to nature right in some way shape or form um that would really be beneficial for you okay um because the period blood itself is a very very potent energy okay it's a potent energy source um that is the blood that has come out of your uterus because you were not ready to birth a child or you didn't want to birth a child right so it is happening on a monthly basis but the the blood that is coming out can be given to mother nature back to mother nature okay that is where it belongs is what i'm hearing okay um beautiful and the last one is collect your own used bath water and pour it outside okay so that's how you can give offerings these are like practical steps that you can take to give offerings to gaia okay is there anything else oh we have a lot more okay i'll just uh, read them out loud so leftover food drinks and water can be given back to nature as well okay so whatever leftover food drink do not waste any of it okay every every grain every you know order you know take away that you have picked up and you have some leftovers right give it back to nature okay any drinks that you have picked up and you haven't um consumed it right or water can be given back to nature okay if you are eating something you love offer some to nature as well right so um whatever it is that you love your favorite food it's not just you who has to like have it but you can also offer it to nature right uh, bury your hair extra or nails or teeth if extracted right so if you have your extracted tooth with you or if you have nails or if you have hair okay if you have a lot of hair fall give it back to nature okay nature takes it back okay you don't have to flush the hair you don't have to um, throw it in the trash can no you can give it back to nature all of this okay all of this is like an offering to nature from you okay and it is meaningful to nature that is why i'm i'm saying all of this right some of us feel like are like hair fall and all of this is so meaningless like we just have to throw it away or you know something like that but this card itself is saying that you can give it back to nature okay for you reaping the benefits off of this offering as well okay then we have bury crystals into the soil or on your land okay so you can bury crystals into the soil or on a land okay on your land whatever it may be okay um so that is where we are at collectively now let's tap into the details of what is the collective message for today okay i'm doing the reading in a dark lit atmosphere um okay because uh, it's for a purpose it's for me to kind of uh, dive in deep okay that's what i want to do in this reading so let's see collective messages spirit for the collective itself what's going on what does the collective need to know right now what does the collective need to know right now Wow, that's coming out pretty soon when we're not ready for it. So I'm gonna shuffle once more. Okay. All right. Let's see. So collective, tap me into the collective spirit. What's coming through for the collective? What's coming through for the collective right now? We have clothing. Okay. Something about um. maybe some of you have been shopping these days or uh, there could be an over indulgence on maybe clothing you can give away some clothes that you do not need or you can um, probably you know let go of certain uh, maybe shoes that you're not wearing anymore or you know cleaning up your house cleaning up your space is what i'm hearing because um, spirit is saying that 
they want to usher in a new timeline for you collective where um you're shifting timelines where you're manifesting your desires where um you're living your dream life you're living your best life right but for that like if you're holding on to things too much or too tightly um because you're afraid that if you let go of these things that you will never have them again or you will never be able to uh, purchase something again you know uh, there could th that could be coming from like a lack mindset that spirit is asking you to let go of because you're on mother earth you're on mother gaia and what is mother gaia mother gaia is abundance in form right like the way that we have abundance in this world it's unlimited right unlimited forms of flowers unlimited forms of herbs trees animals variety right um so spirit is saying that where is your lack mindset coming from who taught you to be in this lack mindset who taught you that you lack certain skills talents and abilities to do the to be the best version of yourself to believe in the best version of yourself collective right so some of you have been feeling down and out some of you have been maybe feeling like you lack the resources to shop and get new clothes whereas the clothes that you have and some of them you're not even wearing but you don't appreciate it for what you truly have so how do you expect to like be happy when you have money to buy new clothes you will still be unhappy you will still be on to the next goal you will still be on to the next you know a uh, milestone that you want to achieve in life so spirit is saying be grateful now no matter where you are no matter what the circumstance learn to see the silver lining in wherever you are right so something about clothing is coming through here as well for you guys so some of you could be like starting a clothing line or uh, some of you dream of starting a clothing line and this is definitely a possibility for you guys okay let's see collective spirit what is coming through for the collective okay we have doing magic on your love life and union very interesting okay so now we have at the bottom of the deck we have um turning down okay so hold on one second guys yeah so i feel like someone in the collective turned down this energy exchange of intimacy with someone else okay i can't say that word because then i might get shadow banned or you know my videos might not circulate so yeah um someone turned down intimacy right with another person and now this person is furious i feel like whoever you have turned down collective is furious he, they they are like extremely jealous and they are possessive and they feel like that they need to have you and they need to have control over you if they don't then they are going to like um, target you okay hurt you or mess with you mess with your life okay um this person feels like they had a level of control in your life in the past but now they don't because you have taken your power back or you are retracting or you are going in your own lane you are going to fulfill your own dreams and and you don't want to rely upon this person for everything that you did in the past okay um so yeah this person whoever is furious and whoever you have turned down for that intimacy exchange this person is doing magic on your love life and union this person does not want you to go to anyone else okay this person could have been very controlling on your clothing as well like this person told you what to wear what not to wear but they were cheating on you at the same time or this person was two timing you but like they controlled how you like dressed up how you walk how you talk or they wanted domination over your life in some way okay and now this person because they are not able to physically harm you um because if they do they already are in a messy situation i'm hearing legally in some way okay so if they do something like that things might come back at them right and they don't want this all right so that is why they are using magic in order to like um mess with your mind okay so some of you because of that you might be feeling a sense of lack or a sense of like you are worthless or you're not worthy of love or you're not worthy of meeting someone else okay some of you could be blocking yourself from meeting new people or um falling in love with the person okay or you feel like this is the re this person is the reason why your heart is blocked so you will never open up to anyone else again okay this person is putting these things in your mind this is not your mind this is not you okay especially i'm hearing for people who have been in this mode of being single and doing your thing um for the last 2 years and more okay 2 years and more okay not less than 2 years i'm hearing if you have been single for 2 years and more that means that this is magic okay for people less than this i'm not talking to you guys okay so yes let's see specific messages coming through we will we'll pick this turning down um this energy okay now let's see so giving offerings to gaia will come uh, handy okay in this situation okay if you are feeling like someone is doing extreme level of like uh, dark energy or throwing dark energy at you making you feel like you are um you are doing too much and that you're supposed to come back or you're supposed to be with them and if you are not um that you will never be with anyone else okay if there are such extreme thoughts extreme dark thoughts that are happening then you need to give offerings to gaia in the way that has been described okay so let's see okay collective so 
like I was saying. Okay. Um, so this person, like this person has wanted to dominate you, but they are not able to. Okay. And yeah, mastering the devil. I think the collective right now is mastering the addictions, the toxicities, the uh, manipulations, you know, um, you're rising above that, you're rising into high frequency, you're rising into high vibrations. And because of rising to higher vibrations, you will not be attracted to lower vibrational energies. Like you will feel like you're getting an ick from those energies. Okay. And the people that you're leaving behind in the past, these people feel like, oh, so you're better than me. Oh, so collective, you feel like you're better than me. Right. But the collective is like, damn, I mean, it's not my fault that you are not ready to heal. You're not ready to level up. You're not ready to dream your dreams into being, but you want to like steal from me and you want to manipulate me and keep me down and drag me down with you. Why would I stay? Right? That's what the collective is saying is what I'm hearing. Right? Like how to, yeah. So this person, whoever it is collective, like they are freeing. Oh my goodness. Freeing souls from hell. Damn. How to free souls from hell. What is going on here? Collective. Are you freeing souls from hell here? <laughs> that is awesome. All right. So your energy, the higher you rise, the higher in vibration you are. It's like you're freeing the damned souls or you are showing the damned souls a way out of misery. Okay. Just by being yourself. Okay. Self-sabotage. Yeah. This person who you are, you, who you have left behind actually self-sabotaged by harvesting your energy. Okay. This person was harvesting off of you, harvesting your money, harvesting your um, emotions, draining your emotions, draining your creativity, draining your intelligence okay but this person is out the window okay um so let's see what's coming up for the collective here what does the collective need to know spirit we have rewards but i heard revenge interesting so this person wants revenge okay this person whoever you have left behind they want some kind of a revenge because you turned them down okay but on a side note collective the positive side of this is that you are going to gain rewards in this season okay whenever you're watching this i feel like this whole month is very auspicious for you. If you start giving offerings to Gaia, okay, Gaia will give you rewards through your finances is what I'm hearing. Okay, specifically. And I feel like whatever magic that this person is doing in order to block you from your love life um, and you then, you know, feeling like you need to be single, even though you have been single for a very long time, you feel like not dating around or not meeting people or not like, you know, ignoring people. Um, Gaia will take that energy away from you. Okay. And another message I'm getting is that if you were planning to get into like designing or clothing or something like that, clothing line, okay, there will be a lot of rewards that come to you if you are choosing that path for yourself. Okay. Specific messages for different parts of the collective here. Okay. So let's see. We have reunion and ex masculine in reverse. Look at that collective. I'm telling you, there's an ex masculine energy that wants a reunion with you. They want a re reunion. And this ex masculine is the devil. Okay. Look at that. The devil. I mean, can I even make it up? Right. Okay. Forged documents. Okay. This person forged documents in reverse. Their, their secrets are coming out. I'm hearing. So whatever forged documents that this masculine is stuck with some legal situation, like I was channeling, they are stuck with, I feel like their secrets are coming out. And so they want you now. Okay. They want your like light or they want your healing or they want your love secrets exposed. Oh my goodness. Collective. Look at that. You saw me. Like I was just doing this in front of you. Look at that. Right. Wow. Secrets exposed. Let's take that man. Reunion. Right. This person wants a reunion with you. Two wives. Interesting. Some of the, these masculines could have had two wives or they wanted two wives. You to be like the second wife or the second person. Okay. Secret bank account. Okay. Something about secret bank account is being exposed about this person. Okay. There could be some illegal activity that this person was stuck in. Okay. Um, but yeah, a lot of secrets are coming out about this person. Okay. Whoever is doing magic on you. Like, um, I feel like you're going to see the evidence of this in your dreams. Okay, something about your dreams is very, very powerful right now. So pay attention, keep a journal in uh, on your bedside. Okay, so that once you wake up, like you can see, okay, <sighs> something about you seeing an abortion in a dream. That is a sign that this person is doing magic on you. Okay, this person wants, wow, or you could have had an abortion for this person collective for some of you. Okay, for others of you, if you saw abortion in a dream, um, it means that this person was doing magic on you blood type. Look at that, right? Blood type. Uh, cardiac arrest after sleeping next to hidden enemy interesting chance of death what is going on here your ex collective is dealing with an enemy on bed okay and the person that your ex is with had to abort like a child for them okay and right now it's like they're dealing with an enemy like if they were a narcissist they're dealing with another na narcissist okay that's what i'm hearing divine yeah this is the divine divine's plan like divine has planned this out Okay. Downloads after liquor. I'm hearing. Okay. Downloads after liquor as in, um, yeah, being real downloads after liquor being real. So 
something about like your ex masculine spilling all the secrets after being drunk to their own enemy wow damn so this person spilled a lot of secrets because you were not there in their life so they got drunk and they spilled a lot of secrets after getting drunk to another person and now this person your ex is finding out that this person was an enemy to them and that you would never do this to them but this person did so now they want to come back to you and if you don't accept them they will do magic to destroy your love life okay but all secrets are getting exposed here Damn, what are you dealing with collected? Let's see. Spirit, anything else for the collective? Okay, we have these. Traitor. Yeah, look at that. Traitor. Okay. We have spiritual jewelry. Okay, some of you want to go in the business of spiritual jewelry. Okay. It's, it's going to be extremely successful, my loves. Okay. Now, on a side note, if some of you have like spiritual jewelry, but like you sell fake, fake shit, it's going to be exposed. Okay. So like stop being a traitor to the spiritual community and get your act together i'm hearing okay the rewards are only going to people who are being real okay being honest being authentic having integrity people who don't have integrity and are selling fake stuff in order to make money y'all are being exposed right now okay y'all are going to be seen as traitors or y'all are going to lose all your clients okay so keep that in mind now if you were dealing with such a business you will see them exposed collective okay you will see a lot of like uh, sexual news, okay? Something about the news uh, of maybe like top celebrities coming out with uh, like victims and things like that of like, um, yeah, intimacy abuse in some way, okay? That could be coming out as well. Someone turned down and then uh, this person in power wanted to like abuse their power. So uh, things are going to come out. Secrets are going to be exposed about this traitor, okay? Um, yeah, like... To what length can a person go in order to get their rewards, right? So something about that is coming out. Now, if your ex was like this, their secrets are coming out as well, right? We have Black Mirror's Crying and Pharmacy, okay? No, oh, I've already shuffled this. Let's do this one. So uh, I think I already mentioned, but like uh, if you uh, want to wear some spiritual jewelry, then you can do that. There could be some spiritual jewelry that reveals secrets and exposes secrets. Okay, something about that, your throat chakra or others throat chakra like you can activate them to speak truth to you so you can do that especially if you feel like you're surrounded by like a lot of people who are your enemy or who want to like betray you or something backstab you um you can fix it yeah with the mechanic here like you can fix that okay lied about about an adoption okay something about an adoption and the lies about it is coming out yeah clothing store literally i see a store here so something about uh store will be really successful if you are planning to open an online store of spiritual jewelry clothing um if you can have some like reward system for the people who are shopping with you that would be great as well okay so think about that my loves are uh, detoxing and deprogramming i'm sorry i drugged you interesting so drugs and detox so some of you are detoxing from like being habituated uh, to drugs um, some of you are detoxing and deprogramming from like things that you used to like in the past. Now you feel an ache towards these things. Okay. Government, something about the government and Jean Grey matter manipulation. Okay. So something about the government and how the government is manipulating people is going to come out as well. Okay. A gift from the underworld and Jim in reverse. Interesting. Let's see. So the underworld wants to gift people something. Okay. Even Gaia and the underworld as well is coming through. Interesting. Okay. Again, we have government. So let's see. Something about the government is coming out very soon. Okay, whenever you're watching this, you're going to see some secrets spilled out about the government. Yeah. Pick a card, choose a pile. Okay, you need to check out my pick a card readings if you want some like answers to some queries that you have. My pick a card readings are available in my playlist. Okay. Okay, we have go outside here. It just fell out. Okay, go outside. <sighs> wow. I feel like collective, there's someone that's spying on you. So like... If you're out and about or you're going outside like you could be a bit paranoid to go outside because you feel like this ex is going to like stalk you or <sighs> this person is going to like harm you in some way but i feel like spirit is saying that you cannot be harmed okay that's what i'm hearing you cannot be harmed you're protected okay give offerings to gaia you need to do that okay even if you can do it in some way from home okay at least start with incense so that protection enhances okay positivity enhances so that low vibrational energies automatically like dissipate from your energy and then you can like do the next steps right so the first step would be great like doing it with incense would be helpful okay and then go outside and do the offerings okay that will be very essential for the rewards that you are looking for okay this is like divine is ordaining this for you mother gaia is ordaining this for you okay 
ants of all look at that light without limit infinite light limitless light eternal light the light is on your side here okay and there's a witch that is like trying to battle you or if you are the witch and you are like a light magician like you uh, channel lighter energies positive frequencies and things like that um the divine is with you okay the divine is protecting you you don't need to worry okay and like amp up on like your witchy skills so if you are a witch currently you need to amp up on studying more about like the subject um and being on your a game in some way okay yeah be real we have be real here okay so this is a time to be real collective so you will see a lot of reality okay um that's coming out about people okay a lot of real secrets okay whatever people were doing behind closed doors there's a lot that's going to be revealed especially sexual secrets or financial secrets um yeah these two especially okay wow we have porn star again and we have group chat okay so yeah something about a group chat like a group of people trying to target you in some way okay these these could be a group of satanists they follow satan satanic rituals and they give offerings to the satan or to satan or something like that these could be like a coven of satanists who are giving offerings to harm the light beings okay interesting really spirit they are giving offerings to harm the divine beings why i'm hearing because they want you bound on this planet they want you to be imprisoned with them okay they don't feel this is a prison i feel like this is like their playground or something and people who have really suffered like these people enjoy it so they want to keep you trapped now this could be like i'm talking about the 1% literally okay they are giving more and more offerings like they're prepping for something i'm hearing yeah we have spiritual cameras are activated nothing is hidden from source exactly <laughs> so whatever they are planning whatever offerings they are giving the divine is actually watching them okay and like the divine is about to become very real with them like because they are being delusional about whatever they are doing okay a certain level of delusion is important collective but the level at which these satanists are like losing their mind in order to control people is is pissing off the de the, the divine okay so let's see now something about like the satanists who only focus on themselves and are in their dark worker energy okay in order to um learn about themselves and go on that path where they are learning about the underworld and the darkness and all of that that is well and good if you're not harming people for no reason that is well and good if you're protecting yourself that is well and good okay but if you're harming something else or someone else i mean i don't agree with that okay collective so i'm just laying it all out there um yeah faking an injury and john constantine okay someone could look like john constantine okay wow we have porn star in reverse mm -hmm. now the stars are definitely there's something about the stars that are coming out planning to go down on their knees now this i'm seeing as the stars going down on their knees or the stars losing their empires okay karmic because they they are like karmic karmic people who are stealing the spotlight for the real people the people need the power i'm hearing or the power is going back to people okay um so whatever offerings these satanists have given in order to be in the limelight is like losing its power because the spiritual cameras are activated and now they are going to be exposed if they try to keep keep doing this okay and they have to go down on their knees because they are karmic as f and they want, don't want to heal basically okay i even i was a karmic in the past even you were a karmic collective but you decided to heal you decided a new path which is for the betterment of you and that's why the divine rewards you for the hard work for the dedication for the for the amount of years that you have had to have have faith and not take shortcuts and not make a deal with the devil and not sell your soul right but these people they get they sold sold your, their soul okay to this entity and now the divine is destroying all of that okay wow something about the porn industry is also like uh, going to suffer okay a major loss i'm hearing we have an understanding beyond love but it wanted to go in reverse so i feel like these people do not know what love is or how to be loving to people or how to have a generous heart and focus on their healing and focus on focusing on leveling up in the right way okay yeah they they believe in chaos literally chaos chaos which is chaos magic okay so yeah so whatever chaos you are facing right now collective it's time to be real with yourself okay being delulu is great because delulu helps you with conquering your own ego conquering your own um inner demons that keep you stuck in a way of believing badly about yourself because of the negative energies and chaos magic thrown at you um you could have started believing that you don't deserve anything or you don't deserve love you don't deserve money or you're such a loser whatever it may be right you could have believed that in the past but 
I feel like now you are detoxing and deprogramming those those things, okay? And it's taking time because there's a lot of chaos, but you are transmuting that. You are a magician. You are an alchemist, right? So you're learning this. You're learning to love yourself even in the chaos that you have been dealt, you know? And that's what is leveling you up truly, okay? So it's important that you definitely do that offering, okay? Give offerings to Gaia, okay? That will truly help you right now and ground yourself okay because this is a season where you are going to get your rewards okay so if you are at a job you're going to get a raise now for some of you i'm hearing that you need to prepare because 2024 is a year where a lot of jobs can like you, you a lot of people can lose jobs okay that's what i'm hearing there's a lot of chaos that is coming through in in this upcoming year okay but this is a timeless reading it doesn't mean that i'm talking just about 2024 but i'm just mentioning it okay because i feel that this chaos card is pertaining to this year um and there will be a lot of chaos due to that okay so you need to ground yourself you need to understand your own chaos you need to study your own chaos collective you need to learn that and that is why gaia is here to assist you okay but you need to give back to her so so she can guide you okay that day i was hearing um, another priestess on youtube she's a beautiful priestess like she's so real god damn it i i wish i could meet her one day um, i'm forgetting her channel name but i will mention it um she was saying that you know when you go in nature and you hug the trees like if you are really sensitive, you can hear them like give you wisdom and advice of whatever they have observed or whatever knowledge they have through like millions of trees that they are connected to, right? Buddha meditated under the tree, right? So there's so much that the nature can offer us, but we are so used to chaos that we are not even grounded anymore. And nature is calling us back to her. Nature wants us back. Nature wants her children back. She wants balance for all of us. But we have become so like, I don't know, entrenched in chaos that we don't see a way out okay and spirit is saying that's not the case that's a delulu okay and start being real about what are your options how can you move past chaos how can you study your own chaos how can you study your shadow okay to recognize what it is and then move beyond it move beyond the darkness within you right that is what is happening here and i feel like there's a lot of love unions coming together okay for the collective so if you have been feeling like your love life is being attacked that's for a reason so that you can face your own chaos before meeting another okay because that person themselves are dealing with their own chaos right so there's some homework time before the unions can come together which is why we are doing the real work together okay any other message spirit i think that's about it i will end it there my loves let me know in the comments if you resonated with this this was beautiful i love doing this for y'all and let me know if you enjoy the collectives i will keep bringing more and more all right and do make sure you check out my pick a card readings because these pick a card readings give a lot of details on specific issues that you're looking for especially if i already have some videos there you can also check out my patreon for exclusive pick a card readings not available anywhere on youtube because the topics i select are very very different unique you can already see those things on my channel like that the topics that I choose are very, very different, okay? So um, do check it out if you are interested in that, my loves, all right? Um, if you would like to donate to my channel, you can check out my PayPal in the description box below. Um, you can also check out my Amazon wish list, okay, in the description box below. Um, in case you want to give tarot decks and oracle decks to me, you can do that, all right? Do like, share, and subscribe, and do comment, my loves. Do claim this energy, okay? Because this is something that is going to transform your life for the better, all right, my loves? So thank you so much, and peace! Revolution